What's going on, guys? We are still out here at the Fun Town RV Show in Dallas, Texas at the AT&T Center, which is the Dallas Cowboys Stadium. We're going to take a look at this absolutely incredible South Fork Playmaker Edition 88 fifth wheel. This thing is super cool. They've done a lot of really customized things to the interior that I think might shock you. A very, very unique fifth wheel overall because of some of those things that they've done. Anyways, let's take a closer look at this thing. All right, let's work our way around to the numbers, past the uh, storage in here. This thing is absolutely huge, and I don't think it's quite as heavy as it looks, though. So, this is going to have a gross vehicle weight rating of 16,280 pounds. So, it is relatively heavy, just not quite as heavy as it looks, considering its size. Cargo capacity, respectable 2,905 pounds, uh, which means you have quite a bit of a of wiggle room there for the things you might want to take with you with a unit this large. Very very, very cool. It has G-rated tires. Um, and then this is made by Heartland. So this is a Heartland fifth wheel. And in my opinion, I wouldn't really recommend towing this thing with anything smaller than a one-ton truck, whether it's a single or dually, only mainly because of the length, the width, the height. Uh, there's a lot going on here that would definitely be better suited for something like that. Anyways, we're going to kind of walk around here, take a look at this unit, then try to hop into it. It does not ride on a drop frame. This is the Playmaker Edition, limited edition, only 88 produced. You get a bunch of season tickets, a VIP parking pass in the Silver Lot, a VIP membership at the tailgate events, three nights free camping, Windstar World Casino. So, you know, if you're into tailgating, if you're into the Dallas Cowboys and you want to have a little bit more fun with the fifth wheel, this might be a good option for you. Let's hop inside of this 388BH. All right, so we can see the price on here has an MSRP of 122,666, a discount of 33,778 for a sale price of 88,888. With once you see the, you know, the inside of this thing, you may actually think it's worth it because of uh, all the cool things that they've done here. So we're going to start up front in the bedroom mainly because it's accessible. There aren't as many people walking through here. King size bed, have kind of a dark neutral wood tone to it. Have a really cool playmaker emblem or kind of a sign placard on the wall. You have an AC unit in here as well. And uh, yeah, let's take a look at the closet space up front. Fair amount of closet space. It does have a spot here for a stackable washer and dryer unit. Very nice. And looking inside of here, they give you a little bit of space to the side. Not sure how you could really utilize that. Oh, they put a little cabinet door over here too, plus some wireless charging on your wardrobe. You have three drawers underneath, plus a pocket. Does not lift up. You know, in, in today's fifth wheels, you know, almost everyone's doing that now, so you always have to check. You have some space underneath the bed right here that's nicely trimmed off. Good for storage of, like, comforters, things like that. You are prepped for your TV up top. Does have a loft, but let's hop into the restroom real quick. So it's got a really nice bathroom. Has an interesting kind of a medicine cabinet set up there with shelves next to it, which you usually don't see. Some storage below, very dark cabinetry, very light solid surface countertop. Has a two piece shower that uh, radius is out, so you have a little bit more room inside of there. Plenty of medicine cabinet space. Then you have some more cabinets here for toiletries, towels, things like that. Porcelain foot flush toilet. Good size bathroom. It's definitely set up well. You have a loft with some steps that take you up to it right there. They simply come out like this. And I don't really know what the dimensions of this are, but it looks like it's almost like a mix between a queen and a full size. Only because of some of the angles. When you come around, and this is a mid-bunk as well. So, yeah, when you see the back, and you probably got a glimpse there, you'll also see that this is a mid-bunk, so it's going to be able to accommodate a lot of folks. I don't know why they didn't finish this off. This looks like it would be a perfect opportunity for a desk. There's no reason why it, it, it isn't there, because the slide coming in wouldn't contact it, so not sure. you got some wardrobe storage here, more storage below. And you have a bunk bed unit right here, top bunk and a lower bunk. The top bunk does not flip up, which again is kind of a, a strange feature. Most of the time they put a bunk up here that flips up and a little love seat beneath it that turns into a bed, but this one doesn't. Coming out into the living room kitchen area. So the kitchen 
is a very compact kitchen. It's not what I would consider to be non-functional, it's just more compact. You have kind of a an L-shaped little island here, but it's not really an island, just a little peninsula sticking out. And it really just juts off of the wall. You have some storage here. You have a nice, pretty good sized pantry. Would have been nice if the shelves were adjustable though. That way you can really maximize the space and if they put a lip there. Plus you have more storage right here for spices and other things like that. You might be able to fit some glasses in there. All right, coming around this way, you have a residential microwave in here. Does not look like it's a convection microwave. Single basin stainless steel sink, straining rack, lots of drawers, very, very dark colors. It actually looks really nice. You have three or four different tones going on in this unit. They all blend relatively well, especially when you look at how the slides are kind of trimmed off. This has a gas electric refrigerator. It's the four door. This is the, the very large one that, that you typically see in, in toy haulers. Now this is kind of an interesting thing to see, right? You got bar stools, you got a bar area. This kind of makes up for what the kitchen's lacking. This is kind of your own little bar. I mean, it gives you a second area to entertain, a second area for folks. You got your Rockford Fosgate system built in with amplifier up top. Really cool kind of backsplash to this area. Some extra drawers, extra cabinetry, and your TV's above it. So this is what I would consider to be the entertaining area of this fifth wheel because of how it's laid out. But then check out what they've done here. So this is, in an essence, kind of a toy hauler floor plan. They give you definitely a, a toy hauler type sofa. Huge. Uh, most of you know I'm not a huge fan of this style of sofa because it's just it's just one long row of chairs. And, you know, I talk about this a lot as the toy hauler chair because the minute you see this, you know you're in a toy hauler style unit. But what they've done here is unique by making it not so much a toy hauler, but an entertainment patio connected to a bar. So you can step out on here. It has a nice closed surround to it so you don't have to worry about the kiddos or the pets falling off. Then they put a little Traeger barbecue pit out here, or pellet grill. You have a compact refrigerator over here as well for your cold beverages. Nice space. It's just, it's really cool how they laid this out. It would have been cool to see some speakers and some things outside, maybe a spot for a TV out here, which this specific unit isn't set up for. But um, it's definitely a unique unit because you typically don't see this on the back of an interior like this. That certainly makes it stand out. What do you guys think? Let's hop outside and take a look at the outside of this unit. Okay, now that we're on the outside of this unit, again, does not ride on a drop frame. Nice aluminum bath deck. You have your power disconnect here, some of your PEX lines running above. This has a hydraulic level up auto leveling system and your spare tire holder over there. More ride step above steps. Let's see if we can see the suspension under here. Runs on a Cree 3000 suspension with Saloon G rated tires. Big fan of the tires. This does heavy, have heavy duty shackle straps, greasable wet bolts. Also a big fan of those. Um, Cree 3000 suspension, not bad there. It's just overall, it's it's a good suspension setup, especially for the weight of this unit. So nothing bad to say. Look like you have some cornhole games here. I'm imagining that they're probably included, but not 100% sure. Outside speakers. This slide, which extends to the very back. Again, something you typically don't see in this type of designed unit. When I say this type, kind of a hybrid between a rear entertaining and a uh, toy hauler. You have your ramp coming off the back right here. I don't know if it'll still function as a standard ramp, but I imagine it probably would. You have your ladder to take you up the side to get on the full walkable roof. You have your 50 amp power connection over here as well. Here's the rear leveling cable driven slides, back side of your refrigerator. Looks like it's all cable driven slides. Other side of your suspension does have frameless windows, at least on the uh, the outside. On the sides of the slide, they're standard framed, which is normal. Schwintech slide up front on the wardrobe or the bedroom slide. And you have your water heater, furnace, South Fork badging. Definitely has cool graphics, sure. And coming around, you can see the inverter up front inside of your front storage. It has the Moride rubber pin box. It's a very good pin box. It's a great system for shock dampening and preventing some of that, that 
you know, road vibration from working its way from the truck to the trailer or the trailer to the truck. Definitely something I'd recommend towing with at least a single rear wheel dually or greater. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, and we'll talk to you again very soon.